Today I'm going to teach you about essay structure by using a sample essay and highlighting the different parts. So our sample essay is all about how cats are excellent pets. So the first thing that I want to do is highlight the thesis statement. So our thesis statement is actually bolded and it says cats make excellent house pets as they are good companions they are civilized members of the household and they are easy to care for. So in this thesis statement, I know right away what my three body paragraphs are going to be about. The first one is going to be about how cats are good companions. The second one is how they're going to be, is, about, is going to be about how they are civilized members of the household. And the third body paragraph is going to be about how they are easy to care for. So that's my three, those are my three topics for my body paragraphs. So when I go to body paragraph number one, it should be all about how they are good companions. So let's have a look at par body paragraph number one. So yes, people enjoy the companionship of cats. So this is definitely our topic number one, point number one for our argument. So in all of these body paragraphs, we're using the peel format and PL stands for point evidence explanation and link to the thesis and that's our thesis statement so P E E L so the point of par body paragraph number one is that people enjoy the companionship of cats so there's our P. Now we should have some evidence and explanations for proving our point. So we always need to back up our points with actual concrete evidence. So our evidence begins, many cats are affectionate. Yeah, that makes them good companions. They will snuggle up and ask to be patted or scratched under the chin. So we have our evidence that they're affectionate, and then we've explained how they are affectionate. So they're asking to snuggle up and, be, and ask to be patted. So we have evidence here, and then explanation here. And then it goes on. If they are not feeling affectionate, cats are generally quite playful. Oh, so this is transitioning now to some other evidence that they are playful. And now we're explaining how they're playful. Explanation. They love to chase balls and feathers or just about anything dangling from a string. They especially enjoy playing when their owners are participating in the game. Furthermore, oh, there's another transition. Cats can be trained. Okay, so they're companionable because they can be trained. So this is another piece of evidence. And now we should be able to explain this evidence. So yes, using rewards and punishments, a cat can be trained to avoid unwanted behavior or to perform tricks. Cats will even fetch. Cats make good friends and are an excellent choice of pet. Okay, so with this body paragraph, we have our point here, their companionship. Then we have evidence explanation, evidence explanation, evidence and explanation, rewards, punishments, can be trained to avoid unwanted behavior and perform tricks. And then at the end of our concluding paragraph, we have to, or at the end of our body paragraph, we have to have a concluding sentence. So something to wrap up all of the point of the evidence and the explanation and also remember link it back to the thesis. So if our thesis is about how cats make excellent house pets because they're good companions, now we have to relate this back again. Cats make good friends and are an excellent choice of pet. So yes, we have excellent choice of pet, excellent house pet, and they are good friends. And friends is another word for companions. So this does an excellent job of following the peel format. We have our point. We have three pieces of evidence that we've explained. And then we have our link 
back to the thesis at the end of this paragraph. So this is a fantastic body paragraph. Let's have a look now. P body paragraph number two should be about this second, second evidence that, or second point that's in our thesis statement. They are civilized members of the household. So let's have a look at body paragraph number two. Civilized, oh, it says it right here. Cats are civilized members of the household. So this is our point. And remember, we want to follow that P-E-E-L format in our body paragraphs. So we've got our point. Now I'm going to look for some evidence that has been explained. So it says, unlike dogs, cats do not bark or make other loud noises. Okay, so they're quiet. So this is some evidence. And now explaining this evidence, okay, most cats don't even meow very often and they are generally quiet. Okay, yeah, that's well explained. Explanation. Next piece of evidence, yes, cats also, oh, there's also that transition word, do not have accidents. So not having accidents in the house definitely makes them civilized. So here's our evidence. Again, now explaining this should be in the next sentence. Yes, okay, so mother cats train their kittens to use the litter box, and most cats will use it without fail from that time on. So yeah, that's well explained how they don't have accidents. So explanation here. Since cats have claws, okay, now we're on to the next piece of evidence. Since cats have claws, owners must make provision for this. All right, so cats having claws is something that we need to be aware of. And the solution is a tall scratching post in a favorite area of the house will keep the cat content to leave the furniture alone. Okay, so the evidence is that we can put it in a scratching post to make them even more civilized and then explaining that the scratching post will keep the cat content, that explains how we are helping them be civilized. So explanation here. So I've got my point, evidence, explanation, evidence, explanation, evidence, explanation, and then now my final sentence of this paragraph, my concluding sentence should have a link, remember, a link back to our thesis statement. So thesis statement again is just how they make excellent house pets. Overall, cats are a well-behaved pet. Yes, they are a well-behaved pet because they are civilized. So excellent link to thesis statement. <clears throat> Now, paragraph, body paragraph number three, I know already from my thesis statement that I still haven't heard or learned anything about how they're easy to care for. So since this is point number three in my thesis statement, body paragraph number three should be all about how they are easy to care for. So body paragraph number three. One of the most attractive features of cats as house pets is their ease of care. Well, that certainly makes it easy for us. Yes, that is the point of this body paragraph. So now I've got my P and I'm going to look for my evidence explanations now. So evidence, cats do not have to be walked because they get plenty of exercise in the house as they play. Okay, so the evidence there, they're easy to care for and they don't have to be walked evidence. And so to explain why they don't have to be walked, oh, it's because they get plenty of exercise in the house. Explanation. They do not need to go outside. Okay, this looks like the next point. They do not need to go outside since they do their business in the litter box. So now this is another piece of evidence why they're easy to care for. We don't need, as, as pet owners, we don't need to be letting them outside. So here's another piece of evidence and explaining why they don't need to go outside is because they use the litter box. Explanation. 
Cleaning a litter box is a quick, painless procedure. That's even a further explanation about how easy they are to take care of because we don't have to keep letting them outside. Cats also, oh, there's our transition word. So we're looking now to evidence number three, it looks like. Cats also take care of their own grooming. Well, that certainly makes them easy to care for. So there's a piece of evidence, but we want to know more about that. Explain how do they take care of their own grooming. Bathing a cat is almost never necessary as cats usually clean themselves. Okay, so there's our explanation. We don't have to clean our cats because they, t they clean themselves. Cats are more particular about personal cleanliness than people are. Okay, that's even a f further explanation. Very nice. In addition, cats can be left at home alone for a few hours without fear. Wow, that's another reason, another piece of evidence why they are easy to care for. They can be left at home alone. But don't we need to explain that evidence? And yes, they are content to go about their usual activities until their owners return. So there's the explanation about how it's okay to leave them alone for a few hours. They're content to go about their usual activities. So this paragraph has a ton of evidence. We have our point here, and then we have one piece of evidence with the explanation, a second piece of evidence with explanation, a third piece of evidence with an explanation, and a fourth piece of ex evidence with an explanation. This, is, this paragraph is full of details and reasons that help to prove our thesis statement. And speaking of our thesis statement, remember that L at the end of the, the body paragraph, we need to make sure that that concluding sentence links back to our thesis statement. So let's have a read. Indeed, cats are easy to care for, making them an undemanding choice for a pet. Okay, yeah, so easy to care for, that's summarizing the point. And then linking them back to the thesis, an undemanding choice for a pet. That sounds perfect because that makes them a good choice. So if we look at our three body paragraphs, we definitely have our peel format. In fact, our peel paragraphs are more like P, E, 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 E and then L because we have our point, then we have three pieces of evidence, and in the case of the third body paragraph, we actually have a fourth piece of evidence and explanation. So tons and tons of reasons why cats make a great house pet. The final paragraph in our essay is the conclusion. And here is our concluding paragraph. Now, one thing that we need to make sure in our concluding paragraph is we don't introduce any new information. We only conclude, we only summarize what we talked about in the essay. The other thing that has to happen in our concluding paragraph is that we have to restate the thesis statement in different wording. So remember our thesis statement is how cats make good house pets as they are good companions, they are civilized members of the household, and they are easy to care for. So those are the three main reasons. So if we look in our concluding paragraph, we can see cats are low maintenance. And that was what point? That was our point number three. And they are civilized. That was our point number two and they are companions, they're good friends, and that was our point number one. Now it's important to note that in the thesis statement in the introduction paragraph, these three points have to be in order of how you're going to discuss them in the essay. So they have to be in that same order. Body paragraph number one is point number one. 
body paragraph number two is point number two, body paragraph number three is point number three. But then when you go into the conclusion, because you don't want to be super repetitive, you want to change the wording a little bit, you can actually play around with the order. And here I did play around with the order, changing the order of the three points. But I was able to restate my full thesis statement in different words. So now the rest of my conclusion has some additional background information, just sort of summarizing our points and evidence for the reader. So it goes on to say, people who have small living quarters or less time for pet care should appreciate these characteristics of cats. Which characteristics? Well, I've listed a whole bunch of them. However, many people who have plenty of space and time still opt to have a pet because they love the cat personality. In many ways, cats are the ideal house pet. This is a strong conclusion and concluding sentence because it restates the entire topic of our essay and solidifies the argument that we have made. Thank you for watching.